I'm sorry, that was a sick joke. Maybe that's just because I'm sick though. That's why I'm a bit uglier than usual. <laughs> that's not hard though. But don't worry about me, I'm fighting off this bug. Anyway, let's get on and show you some snakes. Look, I am your father. <laughs> I don't think you can hear me with this on, but basically I'm gonna be taking out a spitter that actually spits. And safety first, because you don't want to breathe in those particles and over time become allergic to it. So let's show you the snake. So it's always important to open your cages with a tool and not your hands, because that is oftentimes when you can be bitten when snakes start to fly out. As you can see, I'm taking time with the snake, even though it's a fast moving little cobra. So this is your red spitting cobra. Naja Palida, a very pretty individual. And one of my favorite spitting cobras as well. Although you do get some fancy ones out there like your Samar spitting cobras as well as your black spitting cobras, which are really pretty. One of the main reasons I do not want to work with many spitters as well as keep spitters is purely because of the fact that your body starts to form IgEs, your immunoglobulin E, which is associated mainly with allergic reactions. So basically when your immune system overreacts to environmental antigens such as pollen or in this case venom, then you become allergic to it and that makes your life as a keeper way more dangerous if a bite may ever occur because then you risk the fact that you may go into anaphylaxis which speeds up the process of the venom immensely. You can literally collapse within a few seconds of being tagged or even being exposed to venom. Some people have even had allergic reactions from the venom once they have been sprayed with a venom in their eyes and ha need anti-venom due to that fact. So it's not something to play around with. As you can see, I'm trying to get the attention of the snake and there it just spat at me. So I'm just putting the beautiful little girl away and I'm going to show you the cool amount of venom that she spat on me. So basically most snakes that spit have a small amount of venom that they spit out at you but this is enough to really make your day suck. Once this is in your eyes it's gonna burn like crazy and if it's in your mouth it also really doesn't taste good. You can already see the venom starting to dry almost like some sticky juice on the bottom of my shoe. Check at that! So there we go, I disposed of the venom and cleaned everything that she sprayed. Yeah, this is one of the reasons I I don't really like spitters. They're not, they're not for me, especially the spitters that spit. Yes, over time they can be tamed down to, well not tamed but conditioned and whatever and they stop spitting but like, yeah no, spitters aren't my ordeal. I'll talk a bit more about that now, but let's pull out the male red spitting cobra. He's a lot calmer, should I say, and doesn't really spit. So I'll be able to, I'll be able to talk. That doesn't sound like proper English. I will be able to. Yeah, I will be able to talk to you guys about why I don't like keeping spitting cobras and spitting snakes now while I have him out because he doesn't really spit, he's more of a sweetheart. So over here we have the male, Naja Palida, um, same species as the previous one I just showed you, 
but this guy is pretty calm and doesn't really spit. They're chunky, chunky, chunky snakes though. Like look at that thick body, super, super chunky. Hey, for a cobra that is, that's chunky to say the least. Hey boy. So unlike other cobras, these guys really don't have an impressive hood, but this boy is pretty big and very girthy and their scales are super, super smooth. No boy, what are you trying to do? Very pretty red cobra, really beautiful. They don't have the most impressive hood as you saw with the small female. She couldn't hood up nicely um, because they don't hood up. They found they're an African cobra, so a very nice spitter. A beautiful, one of the prettiest spitting cobras, um, in my opinion. Then there is like the exceptional Naja Negra Center Wood Eye, which is which is your black spitting cobra. So these guys are Naja Palida, an African spitting cobra. Very, very pretty. As you can see, this boy is a lot bigger than the female and a lot calmer, although he's pretty heavy to handle. But he's not spitting at me, which is nice and hasn't spat at me before. But I'm not going to take any chances, that's why I'm still wearing the glasses. So let's just get him down. Bit of a chunky snake. Personally, I don't really want to keep spitting cobras because there is always that danger that you build up an allergy to the venom because you are exposed to so much venom in the air. Because they spit, their venom dries, those proteins get those protein particles are in the air and then you breathe them in, inhale them and your body starts to make an allergic reaction to the venom. So I don't want to be exposed to venom in the air that you breathe in, making it more dangerous for yourself if you ever do get bitten by these snakes because then you can go into anaphylaxis and that speeds up everything. So basically you can pass out within seconds and become unconscious and it is super, super dangerous to do that. So I have no intentions on keeping spitters that spit. So obviously like this guy here doesn't really spit. Um, but that being said, these aren't my snakes. I'm just looking after them for a friend. I am not going to be keeping spitters for a long period of time unless the spitters have become really conditioned and do not spit anymore. But there is always that risk that they do spit. So I don't want to be exposed, especially when you're cleaning the cages and the cage is filled with venom in the air. Then your body starts to become like, hey, I don't like this stuff. I'm going to be allergic to it. So if you ever do get bitten or any of the venom gets injected into you, then that will make your life really suck. So that's one of the main reasons. But also, Snakes spitting at you is just a pain in the butt because you always got to be conscious about any like open cuts you have on your hands or anything like that. Um, this guy's being a bit of a difficult thing. So let's put him down. And that's why we always have our extra hook here, just in case. Not that he's like scooting away, he's being a very chilled snake, but I want my hook back. Let's get out some feisty cobras now. Okay, so this over here is Naja Atra, also known as the Chinese cobra. As you can see, I'm not wearing glasses, so that means it's a non-spitting cobra. A very small individual. She's not fully grown yet. So I shouldn't say a very small individual, but a very colorful individual, in fact. Her tail markings there are absolutely incredible really really good looking snake she's starting to calm down now although let's see can we get her to hood for you so as the name implies this is a Chinese Cobra from China and no it's got no coronavirus so just chill <laughs> this is an African 
born and bred snake, so that's all worth it. Um, something interesting with these cobras is they tend to love they tend to love backing up in your hand, especially with the bigger male that I'll take out now. He's not as pretty as her. Look at that. She's not even wanting to hood. Do you see how snakes just want to escape? And she's all huffy and puffy saying how big and scary she is when she's not that scary. She's just like wanting to escape. And you see, that is not her chasing me there. It's her trying to get away. So let's put her back in the cage. Okay, so this over here, let's see if we can get the gloves and put it on the end of the hook. This is the male Naja Atra. As you can see, he's super chilled. He's not even wanting to bite the glove or anything of that sort. So you can see he's a chunky boy with a huge head that will yield a lot of venom. They have a very potent venom as like most cobras do and he loves to back up in my hands. Backing up as in like I'm holding him or tailing him and he just keeps going back. So that's him, the big boy Naja Atra, Chinese cobra. A non-spitting cobra but really beautiful so let's get a nice shot with him and end off today thanks guys so much for watching I really do appreciate it I think I found a way to get rid of my cold put it on a blanket then you don't get cold But anyway, I just wanted to say thank you greatly for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. And remember to go out, learn, explore, inspire. And love it, guys.